Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this Yarn 101, we're going to be taking a closer look at Scrubby Cotton from Red Heart Yarns. This is the newest member of the Scrubby family. I have a Yarn 101 on the regular Scrubby yarn and also the Scrubby Sparkle yarn, as well as some free patterns for those yarns as well. This is Scrubby Cotton, so this has a little bit of a different feel to it. And as you can see, it comes in lots of different colors. There are more colors than what I have here. But let me show you what I have here. This is cotton, this white one here. This is called Tulip Pink, Caribbean, Lavender, Jade, Lemony, and then this one down here is called Tan, and then this one is Blushing Print. So as you can see, it comes in solids and some prints. So this is uh, sort of a mix of a coral and a pink color, sort of like this pink over here and then some coral added to it as well. So it does come in solids and prints and some additional colors. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the colors that it comes in now, and then you can get a feel for the entire palette. So I have here a ball of the print and a ball of the solids. Now just so you know, the prints are a little bit smaller. They're 121 yards or 110 meters, three ounces and 85 grams. Whereas the solids are 145 yards, 133 meters, 3.5 ounces and 100 grams. So the, the solids are gonna be slightly larger than the prints as, as far as yardage goes. Each one of these has a free pattern on the label, and it's this pretty striped dishcloth with the hook suggestion and the amount of yarn you'll need. If we flip this over to the back, you can see for the crocheters, they recommend a 5.5i crochet hook. For the knitters, they recommend a five millimeter US eight knitting needle. This is machine wash and dry, and it is a a more quick drying yarn because it is designed to be used as uh, something for the kitchen or in the bathroom where things would uh, get wet and need to be able to dry quickly. So this is an ideal candidate for those kinds of projects. And also this is a medium or a four on the yarn weight scale. It does come in dye lots. So if you look at each one of these barcodes here, over to the left of the barcode we have the lot. So you can see on any one of these, there are the dye lot numbers. So if you are completing a project where you'll need multiple uh, balls of this yarn, make sure you have, they're all the same dye lot, so you won't have inconsistencies in the coloring. Scrubby Cotton is also 100% cotton, and you can see that right here on the label. They also mention here that due to the nature of it being 100% cotton, some shrinkage may occur. That's perfectly normal with cotton fibers. Uh, you'll get that with a lot of the other dishcloth yarns as well. And also, I mentioned earlier, there is a free pattern on the back, and it's found on all of these labels here. But you can also get more patterns. They have lots of other little scrubby patterns on the redheart.com website, and you can check out any of their social media channels for that as well. So this is Scrubby Cotton from Red Heart. I have a couple of free patterns coming very soon with this yarn, so stay tuned for that. We're gonna be doing some kitchen patterns and some spa patterns as well. And as you can see, it comes in a lot of fun, pretty bright colors. It has a nice feel to it. It's not scratchy, um, I don't think at all, but it's still, each one of these fibers has, let me pull this apart a little bit, has the, the, the underlying thread and then little threads that come off of the main part of the strand. So you're gonna get some of that scrubbing action or if you're using it um, as a bath product, you can also get kind of like an exfoliating thing happening with this yarn as well. So that is Scrubby Cotton. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.